Merseyrail C4 of Liverton Station has seen many changes over the years. Today it's just one of 17 intermediate stations on a busy Liverpool to Southport line, but up until 1956 it was an important terminus and interchange station for the famous Liverpool Aware Railway. But this wasn't the only station serving Liverland, as you'll see later. The Southport line was opened initially between Waterloo and Southport in 1848 by the Liverpool Crosby and Southport Railway. By 1855 it had been absorbed by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway and extended into Liverpool. Due to increasing traffic, the line was quadrupled between Seaforth and Liverpool and raised on the embankment we see today. The original Seaforth station is seen here with its level crossing. Here we see the station at its peak with all four platforms. The entrance of these outer platforms were through these grey boarded off areas of today's access ramp. This diagram from later years shows the general layout, but by then it had been reduced to three platforms. With increasing passenger numbers and competition from the Liverpool trams, the Lancashire and Yorkshire decided to electrify the line in 1904. These early electric trains were wooden bodied and 10 feet wide, and a map from British Rail days shows the full extent of the electrified lines. Meanwhile, the Liverpool Overhead Railway had opened in 1893, a first only from Alexandra Dock to Herculaneum, but by 1905 it had been extended to Dingle and through to Seaforth and Liverland. This gave cross-platform interchange between the Liverpool Overhead Railway and the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. Between 1906 and 1913, the Lancashire and Yorkshire ran a direct surface between Dingle and Southport using special lightweight stock suited for running on the Overhead Railway one of which we see here at Gladstone Dock. Through tickets were available, some of which we have here. The ticket from Seaforth to Canada is the Canada Dock, not the country of Canada. Between 1939 and 1942, the old Lancashire and Yorkshire trains were replaced by new electric trains built by the LMS. These new trains were to see 40 years service and last into the Mersey Rail era. The four platforms continued to remain busy with commuters and day trippers until the first of the outer platforms were removed, courtesy of the Luftwaffe, in 1941. By 1956, the overhead railway is in need of extensive repairs due to the corrosion of the structure. With little of its own money to do this, and little interested by British Rail or the local council, the Liverpool Overhead Railway was closed. Today, the station has been reduced to just a single island platform. However, this wasn't the only station serving Liverland. In the distance, you can just see the bridge carrying the Lancashire and Yorkshire North Mersey branch. Over the 1867, the line crossed the Southport line by a girder bridge and then onto a short brick viaduct. This line was also electrified by the Lancashire and Yorkshire and had stations at Lineker Road and Ford. For a time, the Lancashire and Yorkshire ran a short lift service from Aintry to Dingle over this line. Here we have some of the rare tickets from this branch. The overhead also ran services to entry John the Grand National. The embankment here carried the link from the Liverpool Overhead Railway onto the North Mersey branch. Services are not very frequent however, with no Sunday service. An overhead train is seen here, departing from Lineker Road en route to entry John the Grand National. No pictures of the platform has come to light. However, the station is seen here from street level in the 1920s. The bridge was later rebuilt to the one we see today. Both Lydica Road and Seaforth and Liverland stations provided interchange with yet another form of rail transport, that provided by the Liverpool trams, running alongside Seaforth and Liverland as Wellington Road. This was the terminus of the 16 and 28 tram routes. In the background, you can just see the ramp leading to one of the outer platforms. These tram services ceased in 1950 when the routes were converted to buses. Next door to Lineker Road Station was the tram depot. Opened in 1908, it became a bus depot in 1950 until its closure in 1986. A 
display of reserve buses to mark its closure. Today the site is occupied by the home bargain store. The next change at C4 for Liverland will see the present Class 507 and 508 trains replaced by the brand new Class Treble 7s. Mersey Travel also has long term plans to reopen the North Mersey line for passengers, so perhaps Liverland will regain a second station. Only time will tell. <laughs>